DuckTales, Season 1, Episode 13, The Missing Links of Moorshire. Ponies! <laughs> Which are Kelpies. Yeah, Kelpies. <laughs> it's like, wait, where is your main wet? Uh, we just, we just out came of out of the shower. shower. Yeah. <laughs> No, <laughs> and the fact that they were just so instantly, you know, just instantly aware of what's going on. <laughs> yeah. It's like, For more, we go to two tiny horses. What are you talking? Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> Did we die and go to Wabby Heaven? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And Webby just completely blows their cover. It's like, no, we're friendly, nice, talking ponies. No, we're not. <laughs> it's like, yes, Kelpies. She knows everything. Yeah, Webby knows everything about myths, magic, and the preternatural. <laughs> yeah, and she's like, oh, that annoys. Them. But she knows <laughs> but absolutely they, but nothing. To their, but to their but credit, she knows they... absolutely nothing about sports, which is actually really, really funny. Because the actress who plays Webby, Kate Micucci, is part of this um, comedy duo band called uh, Garfunkel and Oates. And they have a song called Sports Go Sports, <laughs> which is very similar to what Webby was doing. Yeah. Which is probably a little nod to her, which I just like, ah. <laughs> well, and the other thing is, you know, for for all the, you know, for them being, you know, found out like 10 seconds in they don't give up They're like no hey. they don't they almost got launch pad <laughs> a yeah. couple of times <laughs> let's take a victory swim <laughs> oh no <laughs> it's like just like you guys are no fun <laughs> and the great part is they're voiced by actual ponies well, not actual ponies, but, but... Yeah. <laughs> voice actresses they're... who play ponies. Yes. It's like the, the although they're in role reversal because the pink one was voiced by the uh, by Twilight Sparkle, who's purple, and the purple one is voiced by Andrea Liebman, who voices Pinkie Pie. And although this one sounded more like Fluttershy, yeah, I think it was it was Fluttershy, but there was it was it was a Fluttershy that was. Slightly lower pitch than Fluttershy, Fluttershy normally is. Actually, I think it was more like one of her other characters. It she plays a character in this Disney Junior show called Super Monsters. I think it's called. My nephew watches it, and he was watching it the other day. I did not see the screen at all, but I heard her voice, and it sounded just like the Kelpie, <laughs> and. I'm like, okay, what are you watching? Um, hold on. I I read, I heard the name of the, um, you know, because I heard what they were talking about. So I just searched IMDB under Andrea Lee. And I'm like, oh, you're watching that show. You know, that character is actually Pinkie Pie. He's like, what? <laughs> Yeah, probably. And <sighs> just like it wasn't actually Twilight Sparkle, it was more one of her other characters. Yeah, but they do have a voice that they tend to go towards and you know, it's a variant yeah. on that. You know, it's Yeah. You have your give you know, any cutesy... of my It was her cutesy voice. Yeah. <laughs> Well, any of my voices are mostly a, a variant of my normal voice. You know, up, down, well, gravelly, whatnot. Well, Tara Strong has a very wide range. Oh, yeah, I'm not saying that. But, yeah, you'll, you'll still be able to hear. Usually, but you can still usually, recognize them. Yeah, you, you'll still be able to, It's a variant of that. Quite a bit of range. You can still see it because it's... You still hear it because it's got the... Uh, they have a certain characteristic to their voice, uh... Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but, yeah. So, yeah, that's... Kind of their own vocal fingerprint. Yes. Um, they may go up and down, and they may add a cutesy level to it, but you'll probably be able to tell who it is. 
Yeah. Um, and <laughs> there was, what was it? We, we find out that the Duck family also invented golf, but yeah. probably didn't Black invent Donald. golf. Yeah, Black Donald Black Duck. <laughs> um, Black Donald McDuck invented golf, but was so horrible at it that and lost so much that he threw a temper tantrum and destroyed so much that it was banned from Scotland. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Throughout yeah. King James banned it from Scotland. And well, you're we're proud of this? <laughs> it's a thing. <laughs> and it turns out they didn't really <laughs> actually invent it per se, but it lo looks like they it's, it's sort of a I don't know it's an alternate dimension, so it may be, this is, there's two, two explanations with it. They brought the golf to the alternate dimension, or no, the alternate dimension explained. already was already there, and they brought that back to the, uh, to No, the they explained it in the episode, and that was one of the times when they figured it out before the Kelpies explained it. And it's like, and you said all that already. <laughs> <laughs> and what happened was Black Donald, because of it being banned, created the alternate okay. dimension. They, they, I don't know that they ever, that, I, don't, I don't remember them actually ever confirming that. It was just sort of said, but I didn't know that they'd actually confirmed it. Well, but, okay. they, they, said uh, all, uh, they, they said it all, and then the Kelpies were like, oh, it was it's something said, else. You know, no, anyway. they said they started, and they're they're like, wait, you said all that already. But anyway, uh... Dewey is Dewey made the game sound a lot more interesting than it is. <laughs> honestly, swinging sticks around and hitting things and not getting in trouble for sitting at, for said hitting sounds kind of awesome. Yeah, and of course. It's Huey's, Huey, Huey's got to. Huey's, Huey's got to get his, his his sports commentating uh, merit badge. Merit badge. <laughs> he's got. He's he's got to have quite the band. Quite the little, you know, whatever it's called, the little uh, sash. Sash or whatever. He's got to have quite the sash. <laughs> of course. <laughs> and one of the. Uh, and probably one of the uh, has some of the more rare ones, just because of the stuff he gets up to with it. Of course, I mean he has the cartography badge. At least, I probably has a maritime badge. Definitely. Yeah. Well, he has he has the sports. Now he has the sports commentary badge. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Which he had to have a co-commentator, co which is why Launchpad was there. It's like... Really? I like talking this way because it makes everything sound important. Baloney trampoline. Oh yes, in the correct tone of voice, you can make anything sound more authoritative. Um... <laughs> Yes, baloney trampoline is a very important thing to uh, to say <laughs> with absolute seriousness. Uh, um. Glomgold hired Tiger Woods and fired him <laughs> almost I instantly. I hired the greatest golfer in all the world as my caddy. And it was a tiger. Yes. <laughs> that was a definite obvious who that's supposed to be. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> and just the... Was it Dewey? I think Louis. Was, uh, Dewey with the... With the, the what was it the caddy? Was it... No. Louis was, was Louis? the caddy. Dewey Louis. was the one who actually played with Scrooge. Okay, yeah. All right. But yeah, Louis Louis, just... <laughs> Louis is all about the green. Yeah, <laughs> and he, he, uh... Llewellyn, uh, you know, constantly... Don't use my real name. <laughs> <laughs> constantly, uh, like, 
uh, always has his hand up for the tips. I yeah. think by the whole, he should never have said that. <laughs> yes. So, so Caddy, what do you suggest? Hit, why don't you hit the ball in the hole? Hit the ball in the hole. I was totally overthinking. <laughs> and he hits it. It stayed on the grounds. And it wasn't on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Which Wait, makes me kind of wonder how, why, what? How did you how did you get a golf ball on fire? Right? How did that happen? Well, golf it, balls it's, aren't flammable well, as far as I, I know. know. I mean, I suppose anything's flammable in the right conditions, but <laughs> that, that's kind of like me Almost catching anything. water on fire. <laughs> yeah. I can burn water. <laughs> Hmm. Does anyone else think we should ignore the murder po horses and just go home? <laughs> oh, murder horses. <laughs> yes. If they if they killed them by uh, by hitting them instead of uh, trying to drown them, they'd be pommel horses. Pommel horses. Hmm. No. Okay. No. <laughs> Would it be uh, Coco Pomel? Uh-uh, that's Miss Pomel at this point because I think they had some problem with legal oh, yeah, issues. With the they, they're not yeah. they're not allowed to call her Coco Pomel. They they can call her Miss Pomel, and that's fine. Mm. But you cannot mm -hmm. call her Coco Pomel. It's kind of like Unit, where the. Uh... They used to be when they originally started, and all the way up until the new series, they were the United Nations Intelligence Task Force. And then at some point after 2005, the United Nations got all pissy about it, and they're like, yeah, no, you, you can't use our name anymore. That's just no. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's now the Unified Intelligence Task Force. Yeah. Anyway. And Dewey is a natural at golf. Apparently. <laughs> Even with the uh, subpar clubs. <laughs> yeah. Well, those are the clubs specifically for those balls. Yeah. You gotta hit balls with the right sticks, otherwise it doesn't work. Pull a club out of a Scotsman's hand, you'd better knock him out with it. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, he seems, he definitely seems like a, uh, he's a natural, but he's a natural for extreme miniature golf. <laughs> yeah. He'd probably look at normal golf course as pretty freaking boring. <laughs> yeah, he... He likes the challenge of it, and not just the, oh, I hit the ball and let it roll down the green. That's boring. I want to hit the ball and have it bounce off something and bounce back and ricochet and go three different directions before finally ending up in the hole. Yeah, and his his form is is not exactly traditional, because generally, if you're going to do a, well, generally it isn't, but... In golf, you n you don't you hit don't, the ball with one hand. You don't hit well, you don't hit with one hand, but you also don't really. It's not like baseball where you you're putting force into the swing. It's in in golf, you should be everything should be just maximum smoothness and control. Don't worry about the the force on it. The force on it comes from it swinging down. Okay, you don't. You if you follow through, you swing down, you follow through, and you do all that. You don't have to put any additional effort in. It'll just go if you hit it. If you hit it right, it'll just go. What if little... you're lefty? Then you have to hit it left. I've done that. It works too. I actually have literally done that. I, I'm right-handed, but I. I I actually, I tried golfing, like, for a while I golfed right-handed. This is a while ago. This is a long time ago. Um, I used to go to 
to to uh, to, uh, At to least golf it wasn't range. With, go down to the range with with my dad to hit balls, and I'd hit it with I'd hit it right handed, <laughs> and then and then uh, one day I got a hold of a left handed club and just try try it with left handed, and I just I was so much smoother with that. So I write right handed, but I golf left handed. I can still golf right-handed probably if I if I needed to. It's been a long time since I golfed at all, but I could probably golf with either hand. I'm actually yeah, smoother I, with my left. I don't really golf often, like, at all, but at least it wasn't bowling. I hate bowling. I have a very angry relationship with bowling. Okay. <laughs> and skiing, but mostly bowling. Yeah, I'm... I, <laughs> I took a course specifically because it had archery in it in high school for mm -hmm. PE. It was outdoor adventure or whatever. Yeah. And so they had an archery. It, archery was one of the modules. Mm -hmm. And so I'm like, awesome, I'm going to take this. And then they cut the archery down from like three weeks to three days because it started snowing. And then we went skiing, you know, cross country skiing because it, there was snow on the ground. And yeah. then when we finished, instead of going back to archery, we went to the next module, which was bowling. And so I spent the entire time aiming the bowling ball at people. Oof. You know, accidentally. Oh, it slipped out of my hand and fell behind me at the teacher. Oops. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did. I, I, I hate bowling. I've I've gone skiing once or twice, and it's not for me. <laughs> yeah, it, it's kind of boring. It oh, I, I'm also really, like, my legs are really spindly, so it's just sort of, okay, keep it all together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's gotta, that, that, I'm just picturing, like, one of those, um, you know those bouncy frogs that are made out of plastic and you like push down and they bu jump up? Yeah. I I'm just picturing something like that. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, no, no thanks. Yeah, no thanks on the <laughs> skiing. Like, not that I have, you know, there's not really much of an opportunity around here to ski anyway, but yeah. yeah. We don't have any mountains and it doesn't snow very much at all like it hasn't snowed this year i don't think at least nothing long, nothing long enough to stick we've been having it snows for a couple it snows for a day or two and there's a little bit and it sometimes we get a lot sometimes we get a little but it sticks around for a little bit it melts turns to ice and then it snows again So we are currently at permafrost level. <laughs> but yeah, it was. This is kind of funny and a very interesting segue. <laughs> One of my, uh, the very next thing on my list of notes is Flinton chatters too much. He probably could have won if he didn't keep talking. Wanting to enjoy, uh, you know, revel in the victory. Yes. Made him lose. Yes. If <laughs> the, 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 that's often uh, the downfall of the villain is monologuing. <laughs> yeah. You or... caught me monologuing. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when they, they're like, there were a few times in Doctor Who at least. Where it's like, don't you want to, you know, monologue, tell us what you're going to do, and blah, blah, blah. No, no, I don't. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You're not going to live to see it anyway. <laughs> don't you want to gloat? <laughs> no. No, no, not especially. I got time to gloat when you're dead. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah. Quick, everybody, we need to support Scrooge. Why? He hasn't supported me all day. 
No, I mean, we have Oops. to support Scrooge. Not everything is a life lesson. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm going to have to... This is going to suck. This is going to be... I forgot to... I was looking at the the pictures for my uh, different title cards. The mm -hmm. cards. And I didn't switch... Turn it on on the stream itself. So I'm going to have to strip the, the audio off of the second part and re-edit it together. <laughs> with well, the that's not card. too bad. I mean, all you really got to do is just... I mean, I don't know what program you're using, but when I used um, Movie Maker to make music videos, really, all you got to do is transport the video file into the audio section, and it counts it as an audio file, depending on what you're using. Mm -hmm. And then you just got to put the picture on the top and stretch it out to the point that you're well, using. Well, yeah, that's, that's all. Well, all I do is I just... I cut it up into pe when last time this happened I just cut it up into pieces and and uh take the audio out of it and then take the audio and put it in and the, put the video put the the, ta the the picture in and then put the audio in and then stretch it to the thing it just it's just an extra step that's a little annoying it's yeah. not that hard it's a little annoying though and it takes a little also extra time also trying to find where your stopping point is considering you don't have the title card change yeah but it'll probably be somewhere in the 30 to 40 minute range and i'll probably remember just be it'll take a little time to get that too but once i cut it up it won't be a big deal anyway uh back to um uh, more sure uh, Roger and Duise? Sorry, it was a rush job. We really didn't expect you to win. <laughs> uh, Woo! Screw me for life! In your face, everyone who's not them. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's, n let, let's just the two of us next time. <laughs> we, we don't need the crazy fan girl. But, yeah, Dewey wanting to go and, you know, go and actually play golf outside of this context with Scrooge is like, yeah, this could be an interesting bonding moment for them. Well, uh, there you have it, folks. Scrooge put aside his ego and learned that a teacher's pride should not be in himself, but in his students. Wow, that's actually a good insight. I'm impressed, Launchpad. And you're choking on golf balls. <laughs> they just like so tasty, tasty eggs. I said, <laughs> they looked like tasty eggs. I resisted for so long. <laughs> <laughs> More of Launchpad being sweet, innocent Launchpad. Mm. <laughs> he is just so adorable. Uh, well, anything left on this one? I love how deep these characters are. They have, like, you have the ditzy, sweet, innocent launchpad who's actually got a deep personality that you, that's just there, but you don't actually notice it because of how simple the rest of him is. <laughs> and then you have Webby, who's all, like, so, so freaking insane that and she seems she jumps between sweet and innocent and adorable to i'm gonna murder her and break i'm gonna break every bone in her body or just tie her up we'll see how it goes yeah she's 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 10 pounds of 10 pounds of crazy in a two pound bag labeled sweet <laughs> yeah <laughs> Two sugars laced with arsenic. <laughs> but that's about all I had to say about it. You got any other notes? Mm, let's see. Magical golf. Lily is all for the green. Soon there will be... Ha ha! Even your own kin just abandoned you. Soon there will be no one here to support you. Fireworks going off. through his <laughs> face. Uh, and the 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 fact that 
if you think about it, he's not really supporting him as much as just extorting him. Exactly. He's less supporting he's... him and more extorting him. That's the kind of guy Louis can be. Yeah, Louis doesn't really... He's like... He, he said it exactly. Eh, if I'm stuck here doing some, being bored, I might as well get paid for being bored. Yeah. But, you know, you have, you have each, each of them has, you know... You know they, they have a little something of Scrooge in them. You know, the better yeah. parts of Scrooge. You know, it's like each one has, like, a piece of it. Like, you know... Dewey is uh, tougher than the toughies. Huey is smarter than the, than the smarties. smarties. And Louie is sharper than the sharpies. Yeah, he's, he's, he's yeah. Huey's got the, the, the knowledge and he's done the hard work to know what's what's what. And Yeah, he, and, he's got that hard work and structure and perseverance that yeah. helped Scrooge get where he is. And Louie's Dewey got has, the opportunists. He's got yeah. the opportunists. He sees he sees the opportunities and he knows how to convert opportunity into, you know, cash. Exactly. Sometimes he goes a little far with it, but you can see where he, you know, you can see the the glimmerings of that sort of... He, if it's tempered by somebody, like, he, basically, Huey helps balance out Louis because Huey is all, you know, he's, he's lawful good and Louis is... N you know, neutral. neutral. He's true neutral. neutral. He just chaos. I, I I don't I don't think he's necessarily chaos as much as he's just. No, that's not... Dewey. Dewey's chaos. But, <laughs> but yeah, he's he's just sort of. I see this opportunity, and you know, I could make a lot of money this way. And Huey's sort of this conscience to sort of. You know. Louis sort of goes, and Huey's trying, you know, okay, let's keep him from going evil. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And Dewey's in it for the action. Yeah, he's got more, maybe he's got the adventuresome bit of of, of Scrooge. So, you have his conscience and in, in hard work in Huey, his opportunist nature in, you know, you know, opportunist is and not Louis. really a great word, but his 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 ability to see the opportunity, you know, to think outside the box and see the opportunity in Louis, and the sort of adventuresome bit in Dewey, and so together they sort of you take them. It's sort of it's and Scrooge that's sort kind of, of, and that's kind of what they. I think that was, I'm pretty sure that was intentional, the way they did it. Making him, making each of the nephews part of Scrooge, yeah. and an embodiment of each of his characteristics. Yeah, what he needed to, what he needed to do to to be successful, and so together, they're incredible because they've they've got his some of his characteristics, but in even sharper things, in even sharper quantities, but. They're also only really good when they're together because Huey is she'll so get bogged down in trying to be lawful and just I've got to do this this certain way, and he'll get really obsessive about that. And Louis won't think about others, you know. And without Dewey, they'll both sort of forget what they're doing. <laughs> it's like, it's like, yes, you're sort of you need to be having some adventure as well and so together they they balance each other out and create this team of you know it's got all the good things about scrooge but also the negative things if they don't rein each other in and then there's webby who's just like terrifying to all of them <laughs> But in a way, uh, but... she's like the most extreme of Scrooge's characteristics. <laughs> because she's she has his... She doesn't have his experience, but because of her training that her granny gave her, she has experience, which is something the, re the boys don't. 
she has that they have the sense but she has the you know the toughness to tie it all together mm. and you know protect them when they need it because they definitely need it <laughs> and that is all I had for that. That's all I got to say about that. <laughs> well, there you have it, folks. <laughs>